Now the Ankafu Road, uh, as the people of Almina will call it, it's also the prison's road, as we call it, because uh, on this very stretch of road before we join the main road leading to Kakum National Park, we have the Municipal Assembly, there's a District Assembly to my uh, right. right, and to your left, there's a District Assembly where uh, the local government operates from. Uh, this area of Elmina is Zongo, and to my left and to your right is Snit Flats. Now, Snit Flats is just for the Social Security and National Insurance Trust. Uh, the working age for retirement in Ghana is 60 years, and after 60 years, you go on retirement. Uh, but after 60 years, and you still feel going, you have to enter an agreement for one year or two years, and then after that, you're finally out of yeah. circulation. Yes, <laughs> you're finally out. And but whilst during the working days, your employer is supposed to pay your social security, so they deduct some percentage from your salary and your employer top up, and that makes it to contribute to the social security and national insurance grant for your retirement benefit. So depend on the salary you earn, that is what the benefit you'll be getting at the end of your retirement. We also have on this road the uh, Ghana Leposerium. And in those days, in the olden days, they believed that leprosy is a curse from the gods. And therefore, when one is suffering from leprosy, he is not to mingle with the people in the society, and therefore they take them out. Yeah, they, they are outcasts, and therefore the government of Ghana took land in this area and then provide a, uh, a place and also a hospital, a place of treatment for them. So we have the leprosarium here. And then also one of the two uh, mental hospitals in Ghana is located on this road, and that is the Anchor Falls Psychiatry Hospital. But the Central Regional Prisons is here. And one of the two maximum security prisons we have in the country is located here on this road. So, we have the prisons, we have the general jail, or we have the general prisons here, and then we have the maximum security prison also here. Yes. Oh, okay, so we retire the social security, right? Yes. We get social security only, and some people get pensions, pensions also, or they consider the social security pension one. Okay. The question is asked, is pension and social, yes, it's the same. Pension, they put it together. They put it together. Oh, okay. Our pension is tied to the social security. That is how can we call it social security and national insurance trust. That's the government agency that collects it now. That agency has been empowered by an act of parliament, by an act, and therefore if you don't contribute right. and your workers right. Right. report, you right. will be prosecuted. Okay. They will come right. and prosecute you for not contributing right. and not paying, and you pay penalties for non-payment of contributions for your employers. So although the employer yeah. is employed, yeah. okay, now they're taking some of your income right. because of Social Security. Yes. Right. Are they adding some of their own? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Now, a percentage is taken from your salary and your employer also put the rest, percentage, on it. Yes. So it's both ends. So if your employer is not doing that, the worker have the right to go and report to the... And then they also do... They are empowered to go to offices and companies unannounced to find out if they are paying. Yes. And if they are not paying, they... Let the law take its course. And most of the time is the workers that are getting because they know it's their future. Also now, with jobs like that, do they get paid once a month? 
Yes, in Ghana, every yeah. worker is paying one cement. Yes, every 30, both government and private, they are paid one cement. But if you are in the informal sector, the informal sector, that is traders, that is you pay yourself, or you are uh, labor construction workers, are paid daily if you want to. Yes. Yes. Yes, uh, we have the social security. You can do your private contributions. That is, you can walk to the offices of the national uh, so social security and national insurance and say, I want to be paying my state contributions. Right. So they have a private right. one that you can do yourself. Okay. If you are a farmer, you are uh, a trader. What are you trying to do? You are, a trade, you are a farmer, you are a trader, you can just walk in there and say, or you are a driver, you can just walk in there and say, I want to contribute for my social security, depend on what you think that your income or what you can do. Yeah, so, so, yeah, those are prisoners. Uh, now, they, these people, uh, for, 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 for,